everyone. Welcome to Carmen Catherine's Reef. So uh, we just did our test run on the live. We're set up doing the drawing on Sunday at 3 o'clock for the Probo. Put this up. So this tutorial, I got a lot of people asking um, about doing a 21 inch with all zip ties. So we're going to do a nice fun 21 inch with all zip ties. We're going to do and we're going to use a sled, so it's going to be a Christmas sleigh uh, reef. We're going to use a 21 inch white with gold metallic. I have some little sleigh bells we're going to put on the front of it. And of course, I have some bows. So, several bows. I'm not using them all. This bow is Regina's single ribbon tutorial bow and this is the placement. I will put her um, link with this tutorial on the comments on this video. Um, and all I did is I used a single ribbon um, tutorial for Regina Sellers on YouTube and I used two ribbons instead of one ribbon but I did exactly the same way she would do your single ribbon. I just used the two ribbons with it. And that's how it looks. It's beautiful. So, we're going to use this bow on the reef, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I have the simple little bows. This one I'm going to show you how to do. These are just simple bows. It's not hard to do at all. But this one, this is really pretty. This, I did not use the Pro Bow with this one. I use the Bodabra, and I'm going to show you how to make this. This is real easy, and it's really, really pretty. It's with the red and gold ribbon, and the ribbon I got from Walmart, and it's um, 35 yards for $7.89. But look at how pretty that is. So I'm going to show you how to make this bow, because I might use this bow at the bottom. So all you're going to do, and this is going to be quick. Not just going to take your string, cut it about 24 inches. This is your floral wire for the bow dabra. And it does not take much to make this one. So, what I did, I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. This first thing you want to do is you want to get your legs and what I did for the legs is I measured it two ruler sizes which makes it 24 inches because this is 12 inches and I cut cut it ahead of time you're going to just fold it down in half pull it out so these are your legs And tie it. So same thing. So instead of doing this in your twenty eight inches, I did it in I believe let's see. I need to get two more of these. And 30 inches long, but you're going to use four pieces because you want to get it to do your double color. So, so I believe, yeah. So you're going to cut this in 30 inches. This ribbon goes a long way, by the way. Alternated the colors. You take them all at once. 
All I did was fold it down, leave a little bit of tail to go around the center. All right, twist, which everybody knows this is how we do this. You twist it up. Fold in the center. And you can make this as big or as short as you want, as far as the bow goes. Up. Down. I use my hands to measure it. Go into the first crease right here. This is really, really easy, guys. So you're just going to take your tails that we put over, and you're probably going to want to trim them down some. I like to give it a little color in the center, and we're going to trim it. I always put a bubble in the center of my bows. Take it on this side. And you want to trim those tails once we tighten this down. don't want it too, too small because then it can come apart. So. Just gonna pull it. And you can use your fluff box with this too. But all you're gonna do is just pull it out but leave some of the ribbon still tucked in. So we're gonna tuck it back under. You don't want to pull it completely out. Not for that type of ribbon that it made. I just thought it was different with the colors cascading out of it. It's beautiful. So and you can do your red first or your gold first. Same thing. Just pull it. There you go. So once it's on your on your wreath, you will play with it some more as well. That's how I made this bow. Only difference is the gold, the colors are opposite. So see the different looks you can do. So I instead I had the gold, the red, then I had it the opposite way. So this is a makes it look different. I did. Red, gold, red, gold. This one's gold, red, gold, red. So it's just the opposite. But it sure does make it look different. It's pretty. Very pretty. That's how we made this bow and that bow. Okay, that was easy. Okay, so I just wanted to give myself some room so I organized my little work area. So with this type of wreath, you can take and use the Dollar Tree one, but because the sled is so long and big, you're going to need something a little bit bigger. 
you can use this, but it's you're not going to be able to put a lot of embellishments on it. So I'm going to use the 18 inches. So with this, we're doing all zip ties. Which I'm going to do. And I took out the ruler so you guys could see. Even though I measure it by the work frame from two in each bubble. And we start in the center when you're using zip ties, not at the end. The end of it, you're going to zigzag it. And I'll show you how. And it's different than the normal zigzag. You can use a ruler. It's almost the same dimensions as two, okay? But I'm just going to do it the way I know how. So we're going to just bunch your little ends together. And you should use the whole roll. No cutting at all. You're going to take your zip tie. And the reason why I start around the center bars first, I kind of want more of the heavy duty ones is because that way you're not sticking your fingers in between the metal and that can be you know after you're working the edges of it this is going to be harder for you to get your fingers around so I start in the middle when I use the zip ties to do this I'm just going to take a little bit and you're going to bunch it on and don't worry you won't see any of this it doesn't have to go in the back and go go in the front you can do it in the back if you want but you're not going to see it just take it, pull it down, use my utility scissors, you don't have to worry about moving this back or to the side or anything when we're doing this type. So what I do is I pull it up to the next bar, so you go in one section, two sections, that's how we're measuring. So I'll take that and we're going to put it on bar above it. And you, can, you can put your zip ties around it first too. Which is probably what I should have done anyways. So the reason why I like the zip tie method better is you don't have to sit there and stick your fingers in it and wrap those um, pipe cleaners around the bars and people who have arthritis it hurts their poor little fingers and of course I got that backwards like normal that's typical with me there we go it's not a lot of work either Let's see and I would fluff it when we're done, we'll shape it. I wouldn't do that right now. I would just leave that as is right now. And we'll shape it as we go around. So glad I figured out that live stream. Can't wait to see who's going to win that pro bow. I wish I can give everybody one, but I can't. <laughs> See how easy that is? And because this is white, you're not going to see the zip ties because it's color coordinated. And that's why I get all the different color zip ties. So if you were using red, you can do the red, the yellow, the green. I have all different colors and it color coordinates it and you don't see it. So it's just like using your pipe cleaners or your Chanel stems. You're color coordinating. So it's the same exact way, just we're using zip ties. So I know there's, there we go. So if you need to re-measure, you can. There we go, I did it again. <laughs> I made one yesterday in Burgundy. It was pretty. I 
I know a lot of you do this with me, so go ahead and do the center. When you get to this one, stop. And then when we get here, I'll show you how to attach it and how we're going to go around and start doing the sides. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera for a few seconds and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we're at our last bubble in your 21 inch on your 18 inch frame. So you're just going to measure it. You're going to take your zip tie and go around the same two bars that we placed the first one on. It's really easy. Really, really easy. So, now, what you're going to do is you're, it's kind of like a zigzag, but we're going to crisscross it. And we're going to end, when we end, we're going to end over here. So, the way I do it, is you're going to do your first one. And again, you measure. I'm just going to put it around. It's really, really easy. So we measured it. Measure it over to your one right here. You go two bars up. Put it around. So much easier than taking your zip ties and twisting them underneath. So when we call it the zigzag, the reason why is because instead of going around it, you're going to go under it, over this way. And when you pull it out, it's beautiful. So right now we're just putting it together, but you'll see what I'm talking about. It's kind of like a zigzag, but it's a you're going over your bars. That's why we're doing it like this. Go over this way. Take it one to one. So it's not as as big because so you're going one to one, which makes two right there. Going around it over to this side when it's all when we poof it all out you'll see what I'm doing And if you wanted to, you can go all the way, you can do the normal one and go it on that side and then come in. It's just this seems to work better the way I'm doing it. And it holds the shape better. You'll see how pretty it is. And it keeps it in place from the... You can't get around the little bars there, so this is what's keeping it in place. Okay? Because we're going to fluff it when we're all done. So go. You measure it again. Of course, I need to trim that. To the bar to bar, We're going over. To this one. Yes, I know I still have a zip tie. 
So go all the way around it, and then when we start our next layer, going on the opposite side to fill up the other side, because we got to zigzag it the other way still, so it fills up. So go ahead and finish that part up, and then I will be right back with you so we can do the other one. Okay, so I'm trying to name this style because I came up with it. So we're getting ready to do our third. It's almost like a type of braid or a weaving type because you're doing, you know, you're crisscrossing like a zigzag, but it's not really zigzag. It's more like, I guess you would call it a braid or a weave technique. So once you get where you started, because you're going to see the poof is going this way. Now you're going to take it and you're going to go the opposite way. So you're going to go to one, two, and you're going to go around it this way. And it fills it up. And you, we still have to fluff it. So this is like almost like a braid or a weaving technique with your mesh. So I'm trying to get, as I go, you guys notice as I show you different things I do that no one else has done, I have to name it like I did with the spearing and the different other methods. So I guess we can call this, what would you call it? Weaving or braiding? It's almost more like a, kind of like a parade, but you're not doing all three at once. Hmm. So, all right, so measure it from that one to this one again, and we're going the opposite way. As you see, we started there, so now we got to go, because there's one going this way, so now we need one here, one here, one there, and then we go around. And you'll see it. See the zip ties right here? We don't have one on that bar, so you're going around it the other way. It's more like a weave style, that's what I would call it. Like weaving your mesh, because you're weaving it through. You'll like it when it's done. It's really pretty. I have one, I'll, another one I did. I'll have to show you. And the reason why we do this is because it's hard to get the zip ties in between the bars. And this is what I found that works. The other method, it just doesn't stay quite right. So I'm going to take it. Because we went there. You're going to measure it. Three over, and I'm going to tighten that one. Just a little more. Sorry. I like to fix it while I'm working with it. So, from here to your next one. And look at that. Look how clean this is. You do not have to cover the backs of these. And this one's really hard to cover anyways. Because we, um, it's so big. This is your 18 inch. So, and you should use the whole entire roll. You shouldn't have to trim it or anything with this one. And because we're weaving it, it's, it keeps it in place. You see, some of this moves around. Once it's all done, it keeps your mesh in place. And you just add your stuff to it. It's really, really, really pretty. We still have to poof it. One, two. Not sure. You went that way, so now we're going this way. And like I said, you'll see where all your zip ties are, so you know which ones you got to do. This one already has the bottom, so now you're getting the top on this one. Go ahead and finish this up, and I will be right back so we can end it off with the end of it. I'm just going to go around and finish the loops, and then when I get to the very end, I'll wait for you to show you. So we will be right back. So when I did the smaller one, I, ha I was able to make the poops bigger, so it's fuller when you do the 14 inch. And I thought, because I did, I did a maroon one and it took the whole entire thing. Did I 
seem to have some left over on this one, so that maroon one is going to cut short. Because I usually only do the 14 inch with this style. So, you have two options. You can cut it, you can save it on here, you can add to it. Because when you put your bow on, if you have a little bit extra here, you can add to it for that. Or my bells, when I put my bells on. So, what I would do instead of doing, it's 12 inches is the poofs I'm using on here. But there's not enough to like go over it again. This is all that's left over, alright? So, if you were, if I was redoing this, I would do the poofs in probably 14, maybe, see I don't think there would be enough to do them any bigger. So what I would do is I would take this, because there's not a lot left, and you still want, see how clean this is? And it's on every single one, so there's one on, there's one on each one. I didn't miss any. No, I didn't miss any. Didn't miss any at all. And it's clean. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here to the side, taper it off. But you can make, it's not enough to even go around the center. So the poofs that I do on the 14 inch uh, reef wires are like, um, instead of 12 inches, because this is 12 inches, the tube, when we did it. I do um, about 16, so it's a poofier type of reef. And I'll do one this week uh, on the smaller one, same method, so everybody can see. I just hate wasting this, but I'm going to go ahead and trim this off so we have some left over. And I can probably use this little part on something else. I just don't. There's no need for it. I think my other one must have been shorter. So, anyways, then all you're going to do, and see how it almost looks like a braid? So it's like a braiding or weaving type method. I would probably... Looks like a beret to me. Pull it out. You want to fluff it. Take your stuff out. And you want to shape your reef now. So, I did, you know what? I did a 24 inch. And I used all that too. So yeah, there should be a little bit left over. That was, must have been a shorter roll. So now you're just going to shape it. You're going to go through all three of them. I want to take like a little survey on what we should call this. Because <laughs> nobody's ever done it like this. Like I'm saying, this is the first time I've done this technique a lot. And it's easy. You don't have to hurt your hands and twisting the, the pipe cleaners around the bars. So this is nice and easy. I also do this technique with... Um, the 10 inch too. So there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be showing everybody. So with this, because it's not really, really poofy, like my 14 inch is really full when I do this. We are going to actually add ribbon today. So I'm going to show you. And you have the option. You can do without ribbon. You can do with ribbon. Remember when you use the 14 inch wire, which I know a lot of you will, this will be poofier and bigger when you do the zip tie method that I'm showing everyone. So you don't um, you don't have to use ribbon. You can just decorate it and you're done. Put your decor on it. You don't have to do any of that. So I will be doing a 14 inch this week so I can show everyone. Just thinking about. I'm trying to figure out another Christmas one because I have other ones that are not um, with the weaving or the braiding type style I'm showing everybody. But it's really neat. Easy. This is easy. I'm trying to show everybody easy ways to use zip ties and still have a beautiful wreath. Show 
sharing my knowledge. So, with the 10 inch, when I do this method, I do two different colors. So, it does look more of a berating effect. So, um, and it's really pretty because you have your colors intertwining in each other. You'll have your main color in the center and then you'll have a color that wraps around it and it gives it that two-toned effect. It's really pretty if you're doing um, a school reef or a football reef or a sports reef. That's really fun to do. So once you get your desired shape, then we're going to add our embellishments on. My husband just yawned. yawned. I heard you. This is going to be it as far as the cooking of it. Add our other stuff to it. So you don't have to cover this one either because you see nothing on the back. You literally see nothing. So there's, you don't have to cover it. The 14 inch I still cover. The 18 I don't because I don't have... Um, the adequate backing for it. So this is, here we go guys. So let's go ahead and add our stuff to it so you can see what it looks like. See the full effect. So now what I wanted to do is I cut some ribbon and you can do this. This does not have to be a ribbon wreath. It can be a regular wreath. You can just put your embellishments on it. Um, the 14 inch, I just use embellishments and decorate it. I don't even do ribbon. But this ribbon came from Walmart. It's $7.98 for 75 feet, 35 yards. I have red, I have gold, and then I have the two-tone red with gold on it. It's really pretty. The decor. Okay? And as you guys see, I made tons of bows and stuff with it. So now... I cut these all in one ruler size, all of them, a little bit bigger, teeny bit bigger. So about 10, 10, 12 inches. So, and I'm, gold looks a little bit bigger than the red, but that's fine. We're going to figure out which ones we want. I'm probably going to just do all of them. And this is easy too. We're just going around. Inside of it, and you're still going to fluff it, so don't worry about that it's taken away from your, the form or the look. It's, it will not take away from it. Make sure that your ribbon is facing up, the design on it. These are all wired ribbons, so you can shape them once you get them on there, too. You shape it. So I'm going to take the red. I'm just going to apply it throughout the wreath. So I cut 10 of each, so I'm going to put 10 little pieces in here. And let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so go ahead and inside of each poof is I'm going to put some in. I may not use that because i got to put the bells there. So, and all you're doing is you're putting your zip tie around your second bar. You're just placing this inside. I like to fold it down to go inside. I 
course I did. Let me put my glasses on. You can do that too. You can put the zip tie like that. Then you can take your sure it's facing out as far as the to pour goes. You can put it inside the zip tie if that makes it easier for everyone. Just make sure that it's nice and even and in half. And then you just pull it down. Remember that this has wire in it so you can shape your. When we're all done, we'll shape our ribbon too. And embellishments cover everything up so that we're just making it nice and pretty as you can see. See that? How pretty that is? So go ahead and in each poof except for these two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do seven and then I'd hold off. So instead of 10 of each, I'd probably do 7. I'll see if I want to add more. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the ribbon. I just looked back on my feed um, for the live, the test we did on the Pro Bow. Um, some people are not being able to find the zip snip at walmart.com. That's because they're sold out. <laughs> um, they just sold out. I went and checked. You can get it at Home Depot online. So if you want to get the zip snip, go on Home Depot, okay? Um, we're, we're looking at that while I'm doing this. So now we're going to decorate and add. And you can even put more ribbon than this. And I might just do that. I'm just not sure yet. I never know what I want to do until everybody knows until I get there. So we have the ribbons we made. What I was thinking is, I'm going to go with the one that I made, not the one that I showed you guys how. And all that's different is that I did the opposite lining of it. It's red, gold, red, gold. This one is gold, red, gold, red. So it's just the opposite. That's all it is. So what I'm doing is I'm putting on these bells. We're doing a sleigh with bells. So, you guys do know, I, I just want to make sure I cover all my bases. That I apply the ribbon on the second bar, not the first, underneath the mesh. Okay, so you're going to pull the first little loop down and apply it on the second one. So now... I am going to put this on and I'm going to use zip ties on everything so as you guys know I am the zip tie queen I love zip ties just makes my life a lot easier to use it and it's easier to make our reefs to be honest with you so we are going to do this and you can use green if you want and like I said, with this reef, we do not have to cover it up. There is no mess on the back. I don't have a big enough uh, foam. I can show you, I'll show you an uh, option so you can cover it up if you want to. I am just not going to. So I thought, and I'm going to take this off, and I'm using my bow. I don't like this one. All right, so all I did was snip that off of this, and I got this from Walmart, and I'm going to put my bow on it. And you also know that I like to not, I like to use the floral wire, not this, but I'm going to see if I can use this today. If not, I'll get the floral wire and use that. But I'm going to put my bow on this just makes it look a lot better. So 
so happy everybody's everything that I tell you guys of I guess I'm starting to go viral they're selling out so I had a lady ask about the turkey from factory direct yesterday and I went on there and I had chatted with the person on there it was sold out it's like it's sold out I was like oh but there is another turkey you guys can use because I found one on there that's $1.99 and it's a feathered turkey. So if you guys are wanting to do that, there is another one on there. You can just use my method with the other turkey. So I'm going to just use this. And you'll see once it's all done, everything looks different. We're just putting decor on it right now. So, we have this. We want to place this before anything else. I'm kind of not liking where this bow is. The good thing is we can move it over so it looks more even. Might just add another one over there. Something doesn't look right to me. Right. So, with this, this is why we use the 18 inch too, so everybody can see, is because this is so big. Zip ties, another form of zip ties. See how this is? It's heavy duty, so it's like metal. It's really heavy duty. Don't worry, it's not the Dollar Tree where you have to worry about it snapping or breaking. You don't have to worry about that with this. It's heavy duty. It's almost like, almost like metal, so you can work with it. You want to go let the dogs out real quick? Same thing with this, just weave it in. All I'm doing is going around the first bar and attaching it. And we don't see any of this. Everything's covered up. It's nice and covered. This is beautiful. So now I'm going to take, I was going to put some, I was going to put, I don't know if I need that. I might just use this, a couple maybe, little red ones. I'm not sure. Check yeah, we'll be right back, our dogs. <laughs> okay, sorry, we didn't need to let our little pups out. They had to go for a potty break. So we are back. So I only used two zip ties, one here and one here, and we attached it. That's all it takes. It doesn't take a lot. So before I put the, the rest of the decor on, and we're not going to put much more on because it's already gorgeous the way it is. So you don't want to over-decorate either, but I am going to use Regina's bow. But I want to put a ribbon on this so people have... Everyone knows, give your customers the option of hanging it by the bars or by a ribbon. I always give an option. You don't need a, a bow on this because it's clean. See how clean that is? It's clean. You don't see anything in the back. So that's the great part about this type of wreath. You don't have to spend the extra money in covering it or anything like that. But not everybody has um, a door to hang this off with that. A lot of people ask me for a bow on it. So that's why I'm putting... I think I'll just, yeah, I'll do it. So it's just a, I have this leftover from last year. It just says Merry Christmas on it. Make a little bow to hang it up. This will be a big seller if you guys. So lots of people love their ribbon bows, the ribbon wreaths. So this pretty bow, and it's a single ribbon tutorial. Regina Sellers, and all I did was use two ribbons at once instead of one, and I did her 
exact recipe and this is how beautiful it turned out. So I'm going to put that right here. This is beautiful. So all you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and just see. All I did was wrap it around. That's it. Twist it. Make sure that you do go underneath your bars so it's nice and sturdy. Make sure that you cut all the edges so no one gets pricked by the metal of this. You want to make sure everything's covered. So we're not covering the back of this, so we you want to make sure that you don't have any ends to hurt anybody, okay? So it's as simple as that. It's really easy. Soon, I was going to add some more embellishments, but I don't know if it needs any more. We'll look at it again. There we go. This is a beautiful wreath. So, the sleigh I got from Walmart, it was $8. I've been using the same rolls of ribbon for... This is my fifth wreath I made. So all the same rolls. And I still have plenty left over to make more. So it's definitely worth it. Because it has a lot of yardage. So you just want to shape it. I don't want to take away from the thing either. So I'm going to move the little legs over. We'll see when we hang it up. So, it doesn't need much more. If you wanted to, you can put some little Christmas balls in it. In between the little poofs. Now, these Christmas balls are not uh, cheap. They weren't flimsy ones. So, you can use a zip tie through that as well. Um, I used the ones I got from Dollar Tree and the little tops fell off. But these are fine. I got these at Walmart and they're fine. So I'm going to, again, just go over your little bar. It's probably the wrong way. Is, it's really easy. We're not, see that? Easy, 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 easy. In. Don't, I was going to use some bows. I don't think it needs any bows. We'll just put a couple of ornaments in and then we're going to hang her up. So, to see how easy this was, I can't wait to see all my people come out and show me their stuff on the wreath pages. I love what you guys come up with. So, very talented, very proud too. I'm very, I'm like a proud mama when I see you guys say, "Oh, Carmen, I learned this. Look at mine, and it's beautiful." I'm very proud of you guys. I don't think the, no, the teeth did it took. Easy, easy, easy. And again, you don't have to cover this. And it looks like something you'd buy out of a store. It's beautiful. I had a lot of people ask me, so this is the whole reason why I did this one is because people were asking if I had a way to use 21 inch with zip ties, and I do. I have a way to use it with uh, 21, with 10. I have several different ways. This is just with the sleigh. I did I do something a little bit different and show you guys? There's that. Should I put any more? I think she's done. So if you wanted to, you can put a couple bows, but honestly, I think that would be too much. So, let me move my little gingerbread. So, fluff it 
You don't have to spray the 21 inch because you didn't, uh, we didn't use pieces. It's a whole piece. But I would still spray your ribbon. You don't have to do that either. There's not a lot with this. This is pretty the way it is. Don't really need anything else. She's gorgeous. Let me move that ribbon on the way. You can hang it with the ribbon or you can hang it on the back. So it's up to you guys. She looks beautiful. Nice piece to put over a fireplace, centerpiece for a party. You can add more ribbons and what I would do is I would spread your ribbons out, shape it, give it texture, you know. You don't want them to stick all together, so shape it up. Gives your wreath character. So if you guys want to spray your ribbons down, if you're not using the wired ribbon, you can use Stiffen Stuff. I got that at Michael's. I've seen it at other craft stores as well. But you can move your ribbons around, spread it out, shape your bow, fluff your bows, too. But that's it. I will see you again this week. Um, supposed to get the candy cane. Hopefully I'll do that like Thursday, maybe Friday, and then Sunday we have the drawing. I do have a snowman we're doing, I ha and with another technique, I have the candy cane with another elf, and I have Nightmare Before Christmas we're going to do, and he's really cool. I have real special plans for him. So, like, share, subscribe. Drawing at 3 Eastern. Oh, drawing is Sunday, 3 Eastern time, so 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um... And we will have another drawing when I hit 500,000 uh, views. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for everything. Um, without you, this is not possible. That's why as I'm starting to succeed, I'm sharing with little gifts that I'm giving out. Um, because I love you guys. You're like my family. So everyone have a blessed night and I will see you in a couple days. Bye.